what's up guys in today's video i'm going to share with you my approach to writing a shoegaze style song hopefully this sheds a little bit of light for you in case you're stuck and you have writer's block i'm going to start with a few chords on the acoustic guitar and then we're going to move to the electric guitar and i'll show you guys a little bit of production as far as guitar effects and how i would want my guitars to sound now when it comes to shoegaze you hear a lot of major sevens sus twos even some minor nines uh, six chords as well now as far as what chords to put together i do have a video on that but it's on my patreon link is in the description i talk about about the 145 chord format as well as the relative minors and kind of give you some pointers as to where and where you can't go it's pretty basic but it's also very important when it comes to songwriting not even just shoegaze now we're going to be in the key of a this is a major seventh <laughs> but I'm gonna start on D major seventh because when we're talking about major scales, that's gonna be the fourth note in the A major scale. So we're gonna start with D major seventh. Now to make it a little bit more simpler, I'm just gonna be playing the first few strings, at least on the verse part. Now what I did there was D major seventh, then I do an F sharp minor sus two, which is a relative minor to the key that we're in, which is A, and all I do is remove my pointer finger from the top string. So that's gonna be our verse part, pretty much. Now, as far as coming up with a vocal melody, I don't know why when I was playing these chords, Beach Fossil's song, Down the Line, came in my head. So I'm just gonna borrow that vocal melody. We're not in the same key as Beach Fossil's Down the Line, but that vocal line can still work. Watch. Now for the chorus part, we can still keep these two chords, the D major 7th and the F sharp minor, but instead of going to that E, we can go to A major 7th. And we'll strum since we want to make the chorus a little bit more fuller. Now for the chorus part, that F sharp minor, I don't want to use this chord, at least in this voicing, so we can change the voicing and we could do it down here. We still have that sus2. And then we'll go back to that A major 7th. Now the A major 7th I'm doing, you can either, you can play it different ways. That's more fuller, it's more open, and I have the B string ringing, or you can do it this way. It's, it's totally up to you. I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just holding the D string and the G string down. But it sounds kind of nice when it's open, no? And that would be our chorus, but let's see what we have so far. You don't say you 